Now, welcome back to Iowa Live. There are so many great organizations in this town of ours that uh, have a tendency to, to fill certain niches of the uh, audience that is out there, Jackie. And there is one organization called St. Vincent de Paul that does some incredible work, not only with supplies and getting people the things they need, but also some food items, too. And we're so excited to be talking to Steve, who we haven't seen forever, who is the executive director of St. Vincent de Paul. How are you doing this morning, sir? Doing really well. Thank you so much for having me today. Yeah, so Steve, last time we talked, uh, we were just talking about the different changes that had to be made with St. Vincent de Paul and uh, how you were not able to accept any items for the thrift store, which was your, your biggest income source. And then the food pantry, there were some issues with the food pantry, but now it looks like things are starting to head back toward normalcy. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. You know, uh, thankfully, our thrift stores are both open. Uh, they're both accepting donations. Actually, the opposite happened. So many people were cleaning out their closets during the, the quarantine time. That we've been inundated with donations, which is a fantastic problem to have. So we're very grateful for that. Uh, the thrift stores are up and doing well. Both food pantries are operational. We've actually seen about a 34% increase in the need for food pantry. So we've expanded our hours. We're, we're over, our food pantries are open 40 hours a week. Wow. Uh, now let's talk everybody about the locations. Let's talk about the locations uh, of the thrift stores. Uh, first of all, uh, where are they? Where are they at? Yeah. So we've got the one at 1426 6th Avenue, and that's been there for 96 years. Uh, and then our newest location is about three year, three and a half years old, and that's at 520 Southwest Army Post Road. All right. So it's we know uh, St. Vincent de Paul is so good about helping out the community and supporting Iowans. And we know that's just been heightened to the next degree with many people facing unemployment during this time, uh, the unknown when it comes to COVID. How can we, and we're watching a video now that kind of shows your efforts of getting people back to work and making sure they're fed and have clothes on their back. What can we do? What can our viewers do uh, this morning to make sure that this can continue on and we can really reach out to more Iowans that are in need. Absolutely. I mean, some of the things we really need are donate. We've had to, uh, our back to work program, which I've mentioned on here before, is nationally replicated. It's an award winning program, and we're, we're having to only serve three to four people at a time because you really can't do it virtually with people that have a lot of barriers to success. Um, so we, we really could use some financial support uh, to help carry that program forward because we're having to do smaller groups making sure everyone's safe and protected. Uh, we could really use uh, you know, some contributions to the food pantries. Our food pantry budget is almost 40% higher than expected uh, for the year. And we're trying to adapt and change and serve people uh, you know, even better than we were before. Uh, so any contributions there would be, be fantastic. Additionally, we lost all of the turkeys we had set back for Thanksgiving and Christmas during the derecho in our deep freezers. So we really could use some turkeys for Thanksgiving and Christmas and giving uh, giving people a great a great holiday season. I we did not hear that you lost a, a, it the. It makes the big sense, thing. but yes. didn't even think about that. So uh, that's a huge one, Steve. And I could I can see a lot of people wow. opening up their hearts and hopefully wallets uh, to help in that matter. With Thanksgiving really not that far away, if we have a turkey, if we have something we want to drop off in that matter, what's the best way to do so or reach out? Yeah, they can they can give us a call at two eight two eight three two seven. Uh, or they can just stop by either one of our locations and drop it off in the store or in the food pantry. Uh, the, you know, they can, the stores are open, the food pantries aren't open to the public. We bring boxes down, but uh, they, so they can go into the store and call a food pantry staff over and, and make that contribution. Of course, that's a tax, uh, a tax write off for a donation as well if, if people are interested. Okay. Now, if there's anybody watching that needs to utilize the food pantry, uh, you mentioned that they bring the items down to you. What's the best way for people to request items? Yeah, so they need to call uh, the, our main number, 282-8327, and get connected with one of the two food pantries. There's a you know a phone tree, go through the extension, and leave a message, and one of our food pantry staff will call you back, schedule a time, and uh, help you select the food items you need for your family so we can address food allergies and such, and then get it out to you. Right, so they'll pull, they'll pull the items and then have it available for pickup. Yep, absolutely. We'll bring them right downstairs in a box, and it's really curbside to go. It's right. a perfect. It's working well.
Steve, we, we can't thank you enough for the great efforts that you guys have been putting forward despite all the challenges that we're facing this year. You guys are out there to make sure Iowans are being taken care of. So again, we thank you. We're doing a big call out for turkeys right turkey, now. Turkey, 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 gobble, gobble. Uh, beyond beyond um, just a simple donation uh, to the food pantry or if you have things in your closet you're still going through like I am, get them over there uh, so that they can make money and continue on with these incredible programs. Steve Haveman, thank you so much for joining us here today. We wish you continued success. Thank you both so much. Have a great day. All right, Thank buddy. you. Day.